interesting that you can see your hands and your arms when you move them. Yeah, there are moments uh, uh, often in the evening where I, I really can see them when I when I uh, move them, when I, when I pay attention to that pretty often. And you were mentioning that you were seeing white. Yes, that, that's what the, the great thing yesterday. Usually when I say white, because you ask me uh, a color, for, for instance, or when I, I, I try it by myself, I say white when I didn't see anything else. I didn't see the color white as I can see blue, red, yellow, green, not so often. But white never. And for the first time yesterday, I really saw the white. Uh, the, the white I saw yesterday was very clear. It was beautiful, <laughs> beautiful white. Very good. <coughs> so you continue to move forward. This is excellent, Robert. I'm going to take one of the dice. I'm putting it in your screen. So in real time, in the here and now, go with your mind sight directly over to the screen. Look at the dice that's on the screen and notice the color and notice there's a pattern of dot or dots also and come back to yourself and let your mind sight give it to you in your visual screen and report to me what color appears and if you see dot or dots now bear in mind we always have to be moving so move your head around let go entirely mm. go fuzzy go empty so Empty yourself, just pretend to hold a jug of water in front of you and take it and pour it out. Finally, gone. And now when you look in the jug, it's empty. Empty. So allow your mind to be empty. That's how you do it. There's a color and there's a dot or dots. Blue. Yes, it's blue. Very good. Look for a pattern of dot or dots, and sometimes it will just come right out at you. You've already experienced your mind sight many times now. You're getting familiar with how it gives it to you. It's not your imagination. It's something different. It feels different. When you experience it, you know that you know that you know. So you got the blue correct. See the blue, and how many dot or dots appear when you see the Six. blue? Yes, it is. It's six. Very good, Rob. We're going to try something very different. Part of the abilities that you can do, I mean, these are all connected with psychic abilities as well. You can come to me by remote viewing. Really, Mindsight is like remote viewing, but it's, it's up close and personal and it's real time. What I want you to do, Rob, this is just to stretch your abilities a little bit. I have an object in front of me. You cannot see it in the screen. So I want you to visualize coming to my desk here. I've got a round table on the basement level of the house, here at the house, the basement level at the back, it's all windows and it overlooks a river which is winding its way through the valley. On the basement level, the back of the house has windows that see directly out that are floor to ceiling windows. So you don't feel like you're in a basement. And I'm beside those windows. I have the laptop on a stand, so it's raised. But under the computer, under the stand, I'm holding an object and I'm looking at it. I'm touching it, I'm feeling it, and I want you to just tell me any impressions you get. Tell me if you get an impression of texture, what it might feel like. Is it hard? Is it soft? Is it smooth? Is it cold? Is it warm? Is it dark colored? Is it light colored? Does it have multiple colors on it? Is it large? Is it small? Does it have more than one part to it? You know, any impressions you get, just tell me. Not, it's not hard, it is soft. That's uh, correct. It's not hard, it's soft, Rob. Soft. It's really soft, yes uh, it is. It's not um, wood, it's not uh, metal. That's correct. It's not wood. It's not metal. Uh, it, it's uh, tissue stuff. Yes, it's stuffed. Yes, it's stuffed. It's pretty small. Small is a relative term. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. <laughs> show me with your hands how small you think it is. Uh, yes, that's exactly the size of it. 
It could be brown, and then I, I, I saw pink. There is a small part that's kind of a pinky color. Brown, well, you know, it's black, but brown is very close to black. Any special details on it? There could be a, a button on it. You could consider these two things that I'm pointing at, they're like buttons. I see a triangle. The, the, the thing form a triangle. Okay. The tag on it is heart-shaped, so that your mind sight would see as a triangle. So that's correct. Now I'm going to hold it in your screen. You can see it, and I'm turning it around so you can see all the different sides of it. Any more impressions or things that you're picking up? Very subtle, subtle uh, impression, uh, as if it re uh, could represent an animal. Yes, it is an animal. Oh. Yes, remember you said that it was stuffed, that it was soft. The pink is the little nose. Ah. The buttons could be the eyes. The triangle could be the tag or even the ears. So yes, it's an animal. It's a stuffed animal. You got that correct. Can you tell me what animal it is? Look carefully at the face. And when you see the face, that will tell all. Ah, when, I, when you said... <laughs> when I said the face, the face, the face, I saw a cat. Yes, it's absolutely correct. Well done. It's a, cat. <laughs> it's a stuffed cat, black and white cat. You got it, Rob. Very good. Very good. Give yourself a pat in the back for that one. <laughs> part of it you got by actual remote viewing coming here. The other part you got by your mind saying. These are all part of the same family, but it's good to exercise all of them a little bit. One helps the other. I have one of the four picture cards. It's the black diamond, the yellow star, the red zigzag, or the green up arrow. I'm putting it in your screen. Coming from the bottom and I'm moving up each time. So there's motion. Now I'll go from the top to the bottom. And just visualize a card moving from the top to the bottom. Look for a color or a shape. Even their word at the top. There's the color and the shape right there. I'm pointing to it. There's my finger. I pointing. would say the red zigzag. Yes, it's the red zigzag. Very good. <laughs> it's the zigzag. Very good. Could we just just a few seconds to to? Uh, I'm curious if you want to do the same exercise you 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 did last last time with the 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 movement either. This one, this one, or this one, this one. It's one of four movements. As you look at the screen, which way do you see it moving? It's the red zigzag, and it keeps going through your screen, either top to bottom, bottom to top, left to right, or right to left. It's one of four movements. From left to right. Yes, it's going from left to right on your screen. Yes, it is. Very good. Very good, Rob. That's excellent.